Living Doll is the 126th episode of the American television anthology series The Twilight Zone. In this episode, a dysfunctional family's problems are made worse when the child's doll proves to be not only sentient but also evil. Topic: <laughs> Opening narration. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Plot. Annabelle buys her daughter, Christy, a wind-up doll named Talky Tina, which says, My name is Talky Tina and I love you very much, in order to comfort Christy. Annabelle has recently remarried to an infertile man named Eric Streeter. Frustrated by his inability to have his own children with Annabelle, Eric directs his hostility toward Christy. Annabelle tries to persuade him that if he gives himself the chance, he will be able to love Christy. When Eric winds up the doll, it repeats its usual phrase but substitutes antagonisms such as, I don't like you, for, I love you. At first, Eric blames the doll's manufacturer. However, when the doll later begins engaging him in a more elaborate conversation, he comes to the conclusion that Annabelle is playing a trick to get back at him for his treatment of Christy. He places the doll in a trash can in the garage, but then receives a phone call and hears the doll's voice threatening to kill him. Checking the trash can, he finds it empty. He confronts Annabelle, but she pleads innocence, and it now occurs to Eric that since his wife was upstairs putting Christy to bed, she could not possibly have made the phone ring. He runs upstairs to find the doll in bed with Christy. Eric takes the doll away against Christy's tearful protests and angrily corrects her when she addresses him as Daddy. He attempts to destroy the doll using a vice, a blow torch and a circular saw, all to no effect. He ties the doll in a burlap sack and returns it to the trash can, weighing the lid with bricks. Annabelle begins packing to leave, unable to tolerate his hostility and irrational behavior any longer. She says that Eric should see a psychiatrist. Eric himself begins to question if the doll talking to him was just his imagination, and he offers to return it to Christy if Annabelle will stay. He takes the doll out of the trash and returns it to Christy. Later that night, Eric is awakened by muffled noises. He tells Annabelle to stay in the bedroom and leaves to investigate. Christy is in bed, but Tina is gone. Going down the stairs, he trips over Tina, who is lying on one of the treads, and falls, sustaining fatal injuries. Attracted by the noise, Annabelle sees Eric lying at the base of the staircase. Frantic, she rushes down and kneels beside his body. There too she finds Tina. When Annabelle picks up the toy, the doll opens her eyes and says, My name is Talky Tina. Dot and you'd better be nice to me. Annabelle drops the doll in horror, now realizing that her husband had been telling the truth. <laughs> Topic. Closing narration Topic. Cast Telly Savalas as Eric Streeter, Mary LaRoche as Annabelle Streeter, Tracy Stratford as Christy Streeter, June Foray as Talky Tina. Voice. Topic. Episode notes. The score composed by Bernard Herrmann consists of a solo bass clarinet, flourished by harps and celesta. This ensemble creates the sinister tone appropriate for the episode's mood. 
The house in this episode also was used in Ring a Ding Girl, 1963, another Twilight Zone episode. The doll used for Talky Tina was produced by the Vogue Doll Company between 1959 and 1961 and marketed under the name Briquette. Contrary to its depiction on the Twilight Zone, Briquette was a non-talker, however, in its televised portrayal as Tina it was modeled after Chatty Cathy, a popular talking doll being manufactured by Mattel Toy Company at the time. Living Doll premiered. The voices for both Talkie Tina and the original Chatty Cathy dolls were provided by June Foray, one of the leading voice actresses of the era. In popular culture Living Doll is parodied in Clown Without Pity, a segment in a 1992 episode of The Simpsons, which is one of the installments in the cartoon series Treehouse of Horror Presentations. In the story Homer gives Bart a talking Krusty the clown doll for his birthday, and the toy tries to kill Homer, the episode is also spoofed in an episode of Cartoon Network's animated series Johnny Bravo 1997-2004. The man who cried clown, Johnny, real good, little talky Tabitha. In which the character of Susie receives a talking doll, Tabitha, that, unbeknown to all of the other characters in the series, is alive and relentlessly terrorizes Johnny. Topic. See also Killer Toy Child's Play, a 1988 horror film about a murderous, talking doll Annabelle